Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and I am going to lead you through this beautiful Legacy Operations mission. We're playing on Nightmare Difficulty. This is a blind playthrough. I don't know any of the missions. And uh, today we're going to infiltrate this UFO because apparently Shelly, uh, Shen, has found I am at your uh, service. a computer in here. As always, we're going to start very, very fast by uh, pushing up incredibly aggressive. Says We've I already spotted our first pack. Right down the corner. Heavy mech. Priest, purifier and an advanced captain. I, I'm pretty confident that we can uh, defeat that. A great distance. Running. Okay, by the way, our sniper, I haven't even checked, uh, our sniper has death from above and uh, dead eyes, so he's going to go for the classical sniper build. Um, that in itself is not a surprise, to be honest. Fits the overall group quite well, I, I must Don't say, so it's a good idea. I would have probably done it similarly. I've, I would have gone hybrid, but if I would have to chose, uh, choose one side, it most likely would have been the sniper side. So they aren't moving at all. A bit of a misnomer. This thing's just as much organic as it is artificial. The nav system. The remote start isn't the worst idea. Of an octopus than a computer. And as for tactical, well, it's very aggressive. Almost lost an eye the last time I tried to interface with one of those things. I think a better idea, on uh, even, uh, would be to start with a normal grenade here. Although it's three of them are um, a humanoid, so we might as well use the incendiary bomb and get some really really nice damage out of it. You know what? Let's start with that. Uh, the heavy mech will be immune against it, but I don't mind the heavy mech at all. Oh shit, I just exploded um, our chance for a remote start. Well, never mind, we have plenty of other opportunities. I think that one is the best. We're going to hit two, heavily injuring um, the mech and killing off um, the purifier. Dangerous. I like it. Pretty solid odds um, to uh, to hit someone with a sniper. Before we do that, though, um, let's actually finish these guys first, shall we? So, Mrs. Shen. We'll take care of him. That's easy. We're keeping our ranger still in um, in concealment. Come to me. 
Our sniper is going to take care about, uh, of the advent uh, shield bearer. And this is finishing off the mag. Solid first turn. Haven't even been spotted out. Operating system from scratch is beyond me for now. But my theory is that I can duplicate some of the networks using fiber optics on the Avenger. Still, I'd need to brush up on my alien neurobiology first. Or talk to Tigan. Maybe I should just let Central kill me now instead. Very, very good. So that's a big pack over there. One which I would like to kill to right away. At your command. We're giving our sniper the we're giving our sniper the prime position. Everyone else moves into half cover. Out. Wondered what this was like. Reload. If there's one thing Dad and Central have in common, it's their distrust of anything alien. I'm still amazed Central let Tygen on the ship. Still, if he's open to using Tygen's knowledge against Advent, I don't see why I can't do the same with their tech. Nice. Granted, Tygen's not a lab-grown hybrid supercomputer comprised of the DNA of at least nine alien species. But then again, can we be sure? Great, the uh, 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 Claymore would actually hit multiple nope. targets. Standard alien stuff. Oh no, we we traded it for flashbang. Oh my bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah. The double grenade trick doesn't really work anymore, but we can still pull the pack with a shrapnel. I think that wouldn't be the worst idea. Closing this here is not triggering now. anything. pull over here perfect we're going to do that next turn when we're actually going to to engage them no mechanical targets there other than um, other than the codex but we don't need an EMP bomb for it for the codex we're getting into position next round I'm ready moving to overwatch I can ready Give reload covering now on avant le massacre pas en vigilance why exactly did they need to move fuck you guys I mean, yeah, we're getting a bit of an Overwatch uh, trap out of it. They could have just stayed there. I will not fail you again. I don't think Dad was as much afraid of the aliens' genetic manipulations as he was our willingness to follow down their path. He once told me 
The scariest thing he ever saw was the look in Dr. Valen's eyes the first time she performed an autopsy on one of them. He often wondered hmm. what work she would have produced if the commander hadn't been keeping her in check. I hope we never find out. So now it's a much less impressive explosion. It still triggers them. But it's not that huge, huge uh, explosion on all four of them that I was hoping for. So one thing that we should take into consideration is actually using the flashbang because the flashbang suppresses the codex's ability to uh, duplicate it also makes uh, the um, uh, the berserk slower and on top of all of that uh, it'll give us uh, the uh, the uh, it'll, it'll suppress uh, the uh, abilities of um, of the priest, so it's not it's not bad. I actually like the idea. That's one option, or the other one is having an almost hundred percent chance to crit. That's nine to twelve points of damage. Even with a crit, we wouldn't be completely. Taking it down low. With our sniper, with just only one target in range. Okay. Don't want to use the EMP bomb yet. This thing here, however, could deal a lot of damage. This could deal a lot of damage and kill it right away, the Codex. Let's try it. Get ready for a shot. Well, the Codex is now disoriented, so it's the same as if we would have used the flashbang grenade, I guess. Grappling over here. Let's kill the mutant. I, must I said, let's you kill the mutant. Thank you. Still got our mimic beacon. See if we can kill this guy. Very good. That's another kill. I think we can't get the Berserk down. So we probably are uh, forced to use uh, the Mimic Beacon. Had luck on our hair trigger. And we can't see this guy, so 
Mimic Beacon it is. That's one out of two gone. And we got an overwatch shot to at least deal some more damage. The central is different. It's not fear or distrust of the aliens, just pure hatred. He blamed the aliens for all he we've lost. And who can blame him? But his anger has made him short -sighted. I just hope he sees reason when I tell him what I'm really doing here. And that his pistol is well out of reach. On peut y aller. So, that was a good uh, round. We used a couple of um, our cooldowns. I will go. But overall, pretty okay. I'm just scouting out whether or not there is another pack somewhere. Li Sheng is moving over there. We're moving down okay. here. Reload. Reload. Our sniper has already reloaded. Yeah. I'm not sure where the next picks are going to be. If there is even one. Scanning. Affirmative. Je couvre la zone. Cloning this AI means going against everything my father stood for. It means going behind the back of my commanding officer, probably the best man I know. But this is a war, and we're not going to win this one so without any So this is price. us effectively Funny. gaining either um, exactly bonus on her or 50% bonus on everyone. I think I'll take the 50% bonus on everyone, uh, or 50% chance for bonus on everyone. Yeah, it's okay. It would have been great. I love a challenge. I confirmed a successful cloning of the ship's systems. Now we just had to get past the remaining aliens. Yeah, I'm not even sure where the remaining aliens are, to be honest, really. That was a bit of my concern. Because it had been awkwardly quiet lately. Moving on target location. Come on it. No trespassers. Come get some. Tout de suite. Come get some. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Luckily, we got a almost full overwatch trap on. Cause miss and miss. I'm sure the AFK, whilst this is re uh, resolving, be right back 20 seconds.
Okay, back. So, it was a bit unlucky. I've, uh, I've seen that we haven't uh, really managed to hit anything. Got an Overwatch here, but Elsewhere is a pretty tame pack. Let's see if we could. Yeah, I was hoping that we could actually explode these things here, but maybe I am wrong. We can't explode them. So instead, we're going to mimic beacon our way out of this, I guess. Can't reach him with a grenade. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I like the idea of dead eye, but 70% uh, chance to hit is a bit too low. 90% is much more what I'd like to see. This here breaks the Overwatch. Okay, it doesn't break the Overwatch. going to use uh, the Mimic Beacon. So, let's reload. Unfortunately, we can't see the mech again. That's very unfortunate. I'd like to keep her in high ground, but I think that's not going to be possible. I mean, yeah, technically we could move her here. But she can't see anyone up here, that's the problem. Probably still the better move for next turn. We're going to use the Mimic Beak in this turn. So yeah, let's go and just try to kill as many as we can. We can still deal with the Mimic Beacon next turn. Finishing the sector. Why does it seem to be so difficult to fucking hit something? Come on, buddy. There you go. Unfortunately, the sector was the weakest of the whole pack.
Lily moves over. We can overwatch with Lily. That's pretty much the only thing that we could do. Using a mimic beacon over here. And let's try to hit him. Oh, nice. We even critted. I'm not sure mechanical units, if they are still affected by the Mimic Beacon, but thinking about it, we probably should have gone for the Mac because this is most likely going to use rockets. No, they are affected. I wasn't sure. The, I know that... Um, I know that... Um, uh, that the... Uh, that the... Um, what's it called? The things uh, that uh, that are shape changing. Um, gosh, I'm blanking. Faceless ones, yeah. The faceless ones are immune against uh, mimic beacons. I, for a second, wasn't really sure what the status for for the uh, for the mechanical units would be. So we certainly don't have another um, another mimic beacon. So whatever we're trying to do, it needs to happen now. Very high percent chance to hit with the sniper. I like it. Our first target that I'd like to get down. is uh, the mech. Good copy. Moving on target. Moving on to target. We're going to shred it and then we're going to get it down. Nice one. Shredded and also marked. Which means this here should actually hit it. Let's dead eye it and kill it. Thanks to it being uh, marked, we were actually okay. Getting the secure hits in so we can deal enough damage. As you order, Commander. Almost got it down. There we go, Arc on Dead. I think that should be it. My team and I made it through intact, along with a copy of the alien nav system. We may just get the ship airborne yet. So we flawless the mission again. We're at 141,000. We're trailing uh, the necessary points a bit. Maybe the next missions are better. We needed to be especially thrifty when it came to making the most of the available resources. I definitely would want to go for the suits. The advanced versions are nice as well, but maybe they are the superior versions later, and that's okay. 
Um, the suits will give us the grappling hooks and sharpshooter would have yeah, sharpshooter and the ranger would both have the grappling suits, which is very, very, very good. Ever vigilant is okay. Implacable is very good. Retribution and interrupt both suck. That's unfortunately not so good. Soul harvest is okay-ish. Not the best skill. Chain shot is good. Kill zone sucks. Yeah, not the perfect skills to be honest, but uh, I can work with them. It's probably the op opposite of what I would have skilled in most of the um, examples. We're now going for mission number five. Chief Engineer's Log, Day 141. Took a while, but we finally got the AI operational. I have to admit, I couldn't have done it without Tygen. The man has an uncanny talent for reconfiguring network pathways. Not to mention scarfing down Advent burgers. But don't ask me where he's getting them from. Just like that, our communications relays tripled in efficiency and range. Just in time to pick up the transmission. Apparently, some sort of black market trader stumbled across one of our lost Sky Rangers and is auctioning off parts to the highest bidder. Part of her haul includes a working communications module, meaning whoever gets their hands on it will have direct access to our network. I intend on making sure that person is us. <laughs> okay. Engaging Cloak Field. I Unfortunately wish. for our traitor, an Advent surveillance drone picked up on her little auction. Advent isn't known for their fair negotiating tactics, so she's on the run. She's willing to hand over the console for safe passage out of here. Still can't believe Central agreed to her terms. He must be going soft. Wow, look at that. 52,000 just to complete the objective. So we're in for 85,000 overall. 33,000 points means we have approximately as many enemies as we had in the last mission. And we got a very solid squad now. With all of the grappling hooks, we should be perfectly conditioned specifically for, for the high ground options here. So it was a wise choice to take those. And yeah, that's going to happen in the next uh, in the next mission. Um, if you like what you've seen, um, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to call it a night for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.